I think the bubble that we're even more focused on than the housing bubble would be the credit bubble that exists. And the credit bubble is really kind of the opposite of the equity bubble that you want to think about back in 2000. The credit bubble, really for all the reasons that Barry alluded to, is at an all-time high. Particularly if you look off the last kind of 25 years, the credit bubble is what is most concerning from the standpoint of that really could damage the economy very, very significantly. And it really is going to depend on how effective the Fed is in pulling the air out of that bubble. And again, as you see interest rates go up, that will be a positive thing in terms of bringing this out. But the fact that the 10-year is still trading where it is kind of gives you real pause. So it, it's the credit bubble that I'd be keeping my eye on much more than thinking about a national housing bubble. 